Hey bro, what's this? Wow, this is confidential. However, I can show you a different project. A big portion of my daily routine is web design and I'm gonna present to you actually one of the most challenging projects I had because at the company I work we have a lot of startups and building a website for a startup is pretty straightforward because most of them it's very clear what they aim to do. So this project I'm going to showcase today, it was very different than a startup. It's actually a European movement. It's called Together for Europe. So basically it's about politics, kinda, and I have nothing to do with politics. So it was fairly difficult for me to understand in depth what needs to be highlighted and what the site is trying to communicate. So first I had to understand what is Together for Europe and in a very few words it's actually a group of people that they sat down and they said okay European Union as it is formed now it has a lot of flaws they identify and they highlight all the flaws and they are suggesting a new system that's going to be actually more fair for all of the countries. So here's a presentation of the logos I've designed. The first one uh, is supposed to show movement through these lines. This is actually the TFE, the Together for Europe, and we see how we unite these three letters for all the logos I used a uh, color palette that has all the earthy tones because we are talking about a piece of land, the whole Europe. And the first approach is kind of serious. The second one, uh, I call it passing the torch and it's symbolizing uh, innovation, enlightenment and the future. So we see an evolution of the previous logo treated a little bit differently and adding the flame element here. It actually highlights how they want to give this as a tool to the new generation. The previous we said it was a serious approach. This one is a little bit more playful and it might remind you actually the Statue of Liberty that holds the torch with a flame. And the last one is going to be just a flame. The flame as an element, it's uh, symbolizing guidance, leadership and enlightenment. Here we are actually using the triangles and they form together a mosaic style of design to form the flame and each triangle has different color. It symbolizes all the different countries and all the different people that actually united. If you zoom out, they form Europe and here all the triangles together, they form the flame. Again, we still use the earthy tone color palette, but this time I picked different variations from the whole palette. And actually this is the logo that got chosen and the one we are using now for the whole website. Uh, I want you to notice actually that I'm presenting only three logos, but the reality is that I actually designed way more than that. And if I zoom here, you can see the early sketches. For me personal, I always try to use symbols when I can. For instance, here Together for Europe is a people's movement and I try to show movement by waves of sea. Europe is surrounded by sea, of course and the movement is showing to the waves and the people have to unite as waves to get together and change Europe for the better. This is the story behind this approach. And here, of course, there are early stages of designs. And as we move forward, we see different ideas forming and becoming more united. For instance, here we show again movement by using lines and an arrow showing forward. Here we see different colors and the first approach to be more appealing to young people. And the dots here symbolizing different countries and they come together to connect all the dots and bring all the people together. 
Here we are using the European map and I have some different ideas, trying them out. Some of them work, some of them don't work. And as I moved forward to the final design, right about here, I guess, I took the idea of the mosaic and the triangles and I tried to use this map and I made the animated version of it that it starts from this torch and the triangle starts moving and more of them appear and they form Europe like that and it's a loop that goes back and forth to this actually let me open Figma and I'm gonna see it in action so here we are in Figma where I actually designed the basic structure of the website and what I want you to actually notice as a designer is that Figma is not just static that you can show your designs are still images but actually you can make dynamic designs and this is what we are seeing here it's the buttons the rollovers and different kinds of buttons and all of them you can connect them to make them interactive and actually clickable and show animation, put videos inside. Let's take an idea here. So by clicking here, you can hide the UI and this line disappears so you can see the main menu. So here we see the animation I was talking about earlier. And the thing is that you can scroll down and you can click the buttons and it's actually interactive. So your clients or your co-workers can have an actual idea what exactly the site is going to be looking like on a web page. Another very interesting thing I have to show you about Figma is that if you set your color palette properly, you can set your primary colors and then if you want to change something, it's actually designed in a dynamic way and by changing the color, it's adjusting accordingly to every corner you used this specific color. Of course, this is a huge time saver if you want to experiment and you don't have to actually go one by one by one to all the places you use the color and start changing it. So as a web designer, Figma is something that all the companies are using and it's a powerful tool. About the animation in here, it's actually, of course, not created on Figma because it's very complicated. It has so many elements. I can actually show you. Here we are in After Effects and we have the animation. And here, as you can see, we have all these crazy elements. It's a mess. And if I press U, you can see all the keyframes that change all the attributes of each triangle until we go from the flame as a logo to form the map of Europe in triangles. So again, we use different tools for different stuff. I used Illustrator for creating the logo, After Effects for making this motion graphics animation, Figma to put together the design of the website. And later on, one of my coworkers used WordPress to actually take all my designs and put together the site. For me, it's super important when you make a logo that sometimes you don't give everything on the plate. For instance, when somebody sees Together for Europe and sees a flame, it's not clear what the reasoning is behind this concept. But you give your client a good story and they actually can say what the triangles represent, what the different colors represent, why we chose this color palette, and all the symbolism that goes behind this creates a very nice story for your client when he gets asked, okay, together for Europe, makes sense, why the flame, why the mosaic? And they can answer all these questions and create an interesting and intriguing story. Another website I've created is uh, Scale Up Greece. And I'm showing you this because I'm a strong believer in motion graphics and when I had to present the logos for that project I actually made some animations, I can show you now. So 
So this is a very fun and impressive way to reveal your logos through animated graphics and motion. It's very impressive and of course you get that wow effect from your clients or your team leaders. Of course this is a live version of the website. Uh, if you visit it right now, this is another motion graphics video that we've created. Here I use the kinetic typography to create this one and most of it is created inside After Effects as well. A lot of times I use actually Premiere Pro for different projects, but this time I used After Effects for most of this video. Another thing you can see here is that I'm using a lot of photos. Most of them are from Shutterstock. However, when you download a photo from Shutterstock, it's not that you download it and you just use it. A lot of times you will have to do color correction or color manipulation and using your Photoshop skills. So here is where I used my Photoshop to make these photos unite with my color palette for the website. This one example, another one is here that we took this photo and we brought it in together for your branding. Another one is this one. I actually chose to present this website because it was one project that I took from start to finish because usually I'm working on bits and pieces like some startups have already a logo that somebody else designed and I'm going in and I'm doing a website redesign or I do a motion video or I do bits and pieces, you know. I'm working on this company for about six months now and I thought it's going to be interesting to showcase one of the projects that I did for people that maybe they are already web designers or graphic designers and they are looking to go into a company and they are wondering what kind of projects uh, can be done there. So this was a unique project and I hope you enjoyed it, you found it interesting. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below.